All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Living Live Daily with Jay. It has been a crazy couple of weeks out there, y'all, dealing with power outages, trees down, things that have been crazy this couple of weeks. So I'm going to show you a clip of that, things that have been holding me back from fishing, getting out there, doing my thing out there. Last week, it was Father's Day. I had a chance to spend time with my dad on Father's Day. That was awesome. You know, we got together laughing hanging out it's always good to spend time with your dad not just father's day just spending time in general you know you never know it can be different from one day to the next so but i had my chance to enjoy spending time with my dad on father's day so shout out to all the fathers out there but to deal with the dilemma i was going through in the last couple of weeks y'all it was holding me back for getting out there on the water, and I am going through withdrawals from not fishing, guys. But I'm getting set up to go. I think I got a chance to get out there and go. It's looking pretty good today, so I'm going to get out there and try to go. So while I'm getting set up, I'm going to show you a clip of what's been holding me back with the trees, power outages, and also throw in me and my dad hanging out fishing Father's Day. So guys, y'all sit back, and before you get too comfortable, hit that like and subscribe button, you know, and enjoy this video, and I'll see y'all out there. Welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel, Living Live Daily with Jay. We are out here on another adventure and as you can see, it is a crazy weekend going on. All the boats is out, look at that guys, look at that, all the boats going to the sandbar. Gotta make me a long hike back up to the boat. And it's a hot one guys, it's a hot day today. But I'm gonna make my way back up here and try to get this day started. Man, 4th of July, it's in a couple of days and you can tell as of back there, it's already getting started. Man, whew, it is hot. So I'm gonna make my way back up here to this boat, try to get in and get on the water and I will see y'all out there on the water. I don't made it back out here on the boat. And we're finna go out and enjoy the day. It's a hot day, but we're finna get out there. Fourth of July weekend. We're finna get out here and uh, look at that. Look at that. Through the scenery. Oh, just stay.
three fish. Don't quite know what the name of it, but look at the colors on it. That is gorgeous. Kind of match my shirt. All right, we go pick a couple of fishes, pictures of this guy, and we're gonna do some research and let y'all know exactly what kind of fish this is. But if you know what kind of fish this is, leave it in the comment below. Right. Okay, we got a Ramara. Nice Ramara fish. Out here, nice Romaro. All right, guys, we go put them back in the water and we go keep at it. All right, guys, another fat one, another fatty. We'll rack it up on these right here today, but I mean, nothing that we're gonna eat or anything. But I did some research and I heard they are awesome bait out here so probably use this guy for for bait later on today but we're gonna probably pull up in just a minute and run a little bit further that way onto the reef out here we did that see i have one of my feathers here and on my one of my old venture rods that i picked up old pin rod i picked up it's an old one but we're gonna use it i got it on my tide water right here. Old school reel, but we're going to see what it's going to do today. I say I got me a feather here, and we're just going to troll it about maybe a hundred feet back behind the boat. That. Check it out. Check it out. Guys, that is what I'm talking about right there. 
what a what a macro guys Ooh. check that out guys we out here Spanish macro if I'm not mistaken I'm not one of mistaken for a zero macro but if I'm not mistaken it is a Spanish macro we will check in a minute and get this guy measured up right back with you. Measure this guy right here. I think he has to be to, to, to the fork. This guy has to take like a tuna. To the fork. And this, and this guy is 26 inch. Guys, check it out. Look at the teeth on it. You don't want to get bit by that guy, those things right there. Check it out. Out here, Sykes Marks, Florida. Out here, we were headed to the reef, and I decided to troll my little feathers there. And man, I'm glad I did. Check it out, guys. All right, guys. Beautiful fish going on ice, man. That is awesome. Man, check that out. Man, you can make some smoke dip. Man, so fix anything, man, this thing is awesome. Going in the ice. We going back out there. Like I say, this what did it right there. That orange feather. Man, awesome. We getting back out there, trying it again. Awesome, so excited. Let's, let's get to it. y'all man it is right time now i got me a sea bass these guys gotta be 10 inches right here and if this guy is a keeper we are definitely gonna be having black sea bass tacos coming up we're gonna measure them make sure they gotta be 10 inches and this guy is definitely 10 inches, guys. Way up, more than 10 inches. Definitely almost 11 inches. So definitely a keeper. Black and tacos, sea bass tacos coming up, guys. Right there. Guys, we are got some good guys. Give me this right here. We have got us a grunt. First one I caught was a grunt. Check it out, guys. Beautiful fish. There are no size limit on these. So you can catch many as you want. But this is a nice grunt. Check it out, guys. Look at that mouth. Kind of reminds you of a hog fish, almost kind of. With that big mouth. Most people call them, in certain parts of Florida, most people call them lady fish because of their lips. But these are grunts. Pretty good to eat. We may take them back and eat them. Maybe make like some tacos or blackened fish with them. All right, we're going to get this guy on ice, guys, and keep it going. Yeah, it is a 
slide so we can get it back out there. So we don't destroy the habitat. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, get it back out there, guys. Come on back. Fish. I can say they swim with the shark, so you know, nine out of ten, if you see these guys, it's a shark hanging around somewhere. But these some cool little fish. One day I'm gonna get brave enough to do a catch, clean, and cook on one of these. I ain't got brave enough yet to do one on one of these guys. Um, he has swallowed it. So. And now he has swallowed that thing. He has swallowed it good. So give me just a second. I'm gonna unhook this guy and we'll release him. Alright, let's see what we got here. Pull, Alright guys. Release. But I got my fish though. It is a Reef, nice coral reef. Oh man, that is gorgeous. We can check that out. But I have got my fish. He had went in there and wrapped around here. But I got him. This is a baby grunt. And a nice, gorgeous reef. Look at that. I don't know what, man, that is. Will look good in a coral tank. Coral reef. Will look good in a fish tank. But too bad we got to sit this. Back on back down to the bottom. Man, that's gorgeous. All right, guys, we're gonna head back in. We try to get cleaned up. What a awesome day we had out here. It was great to get back on the water after a long drought of not fishing. But we come out here and we had an awesome day. We caught the sea bass, we caught porgies. And on the way out, I was trolling and caught me a nice, nice 26 inch Spanish mackerel. Was awesome, but that would be in another video. I'm gonna show y'all some of that. May do some smoke macro some there, but the star of the show today will be the sea bass that we got here. And like I said, we're gonna head in, get clean. May stop in and do a little bit fishing on the way in, but as of right now, we're headed in, guys. See y'all back at the house. <laughs> Right here, I'm holding one of the prizes of the sea bass. This is one of the great tasting fish out there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fillet it up. And I'm just going to cut the skin off. And I'm going to be using these sea bass as taco meat. So we're going to probably blacken these and make some blackened tacos with these. So, Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right behind the scale here. All right. 
and just run my knife right along the backbone. Feel the backbone, just run your knife right along the backbone. And take your time. And just bring it on out like that. And then we're gonna take it. We're gonna lift it up. And just run it right along the backbone. Lift that meat up. Just so. Then angle your knife down on the back end. So you get over them, over them pin bone, the rib cage right there. All right, take your time here, cut through them pin bone. Go back down just like that, guys. White meat. This is white meat right there. That what you left with right now. Going this fillet. All right, and we're gonna take this fillet here, and we're just gonna take the meat off, just like that. Just like that, right there. Check that out. Nothing there, check that out. Mm-hmm. You can set that aside, check for pin bones, and a fruit pin bones right here. Let's take our knife. Turn it that way so you feel the pin bone. Take the pin bones out. Alright, wonderful filet. Right there. All right, you guys, there you go. A nice fillet right here. And as you can see, no meat, nothing but bones. All right, guys, I got three more to do. I'm gonna do the same thing as I done the this one. And I'll be right back with you. towels so you get all the, the wetness off they'll stay dry and they will do well in the bag when you put them in there but we're gonna get these together and we'll be getting back with y'all with the black and tacos and I'll see y'all soon
with the black sea bass all cleaned up and ready to go. We have a few pieces here that we're gonna be using today. We got some more in the fridge that we'll be cooking later, but this is what we're using right now. We're gonna be blackening this to make blackened tacos. And um, I have here, I got my pan ready. We're gonna be using some of the salted sweet cream butter to be going in this. So we're just gonna put a couple of pieces in here, like this right here. We're gonna get that melted down. We're gonna blacken our fish. And the seasoning we're gonna be using, we'll be using some of the Seminole Swamp seasoning. Once again, guys, this season right here is legit. It is some great season, awesome on everything. So right here, the season, if it flies, it walks, it crawls, it swims, it's gonna be good on it. Once again, Seminole Swamp seasoning. And so while our butter is getting right, I'm also gonna be using just some regular blackened season on it. All right, so season. Just like that, press it over. Do both sides. And also going in with a little of the season. We're just only gonna do one side of this right here. All right. All right, go on in. smell that. And what we're going to do is just going to blacken these just a little bit on both sides. not going to take long, so about a minute or two on each side and they'll be ready to go. All right, we're going in for the flip. Oh man, take that out. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at that right there. All right, we're going for the last about one or two minutes on the other side, and we'll be done with the blackened sea bass, y'all. All right, the fish is coming off. Right there, that's what we're looking for. That is the texture that we want right there. And what we're just going to just take them off, spin them over here. Just like that. Oh, man, look at that. Can you smell it? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, we can assemble this, man, right here. First off, we are going down with some of this Goyo sauce. This sauce is delicious and just as good as anything in the restaurant that you put on your tacos or uh, anything in this caliber over here. So we're going down with a little of this right here. Mm hmm. Uh, this is gonna be delicious. All right. I'm gonna take some of this right here. We're just gonna break it up. Oh man, that's smelling good already. All right, going down with a one of that lettuce. Mm hmm. Get a couple pieces of that avocado on them right there. All right, check that out. Check that out. That's gonna be good right there. All right, check that out. That is one going down. Oh, just a minute. I like to forget. You know, I'm ready to eat, so I got to help myself. Also going down with a little of that right there, guys. Mm-hmm. American cheese. All right. Shake that out. Shake that out. Mm-hmm. Shake that out, guys. We're going to give this a try. Right here. Check this out. Oh yeah, this sauce, that sauce does it right there. That sauce does it right there. That sauce is awesome. You need to try it. If you haven't tried that sauce, try that sauce right there. Yeah, that's good. I'm going in for a second one, guys. This is awesome, black and sea bass. 
Mm. Man, God, this is delicious. Had an awesome day out there, catching these sea bass. And I'm going out there on a reef out there and anchored up on the reef. And man, we went to slaying them. Caught about three or four sea bass. And they have to be 10 inches to keep. But if you're keeping the sea bass, give them a try. They are awesome. But like I say, guys, if y'all like this video so far, give it a thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. And you know, like it'll help me with my channel. And just keep watching. Keep helping me, keep helping with the videos. But like I say about this sea bass, you gotta try it, you gotta put it together. And that's all I have for you at the moment. So but I'll see y'all in the next one.